I'm joined by a very special guest right now, the president of the Endocrine Society from Northwestern University Feinberg School of Medicine, Dr. Teresa Woodruff. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Dina. Good to see you. And I have to say congratulations because this meeting I know has been the fruits of your labor. Right. Probably a little bittersweet, the culmination of That's your right. term mm -hmm. as president. So tell me, what are your hopes? Well, I'm, I'm so excited about this meeting here in my hometown of Chicago. I'm so glad to welcome the world of endocrinology here. This is our first international endocrine society uh, meeting in nearly 20 years. And so this is really an exciting time for the entire field. Uh, and so I'm really looking forward to the breadth of endocrine science, the plenaries, the symposia, all our poster abstracts. And really, Dina, one of the things I always look forward to at every meeting are the first-time trainees who arrive at our meeting really excited about the world that is opening up to them. And I look forward to uh, meeting all of them as they traffic through many of these different uh, activities that we have at this year's meeting. A great opportunity for attendees, I think, to connect. To connect. But what do you hope that people get out of this most? Well, you know, I think that we are facing so many great opportunities in science to make a difference for patients' lives. And so, for example, the twin tsunamis of diabetes and obesity, these are, these are diseases that are impacting people around the globe. And the kind of science that will be presented at the Endocrine Society is going to help those individuals uh, and the physicians who treat them uh, make sure that their lives are better in the future. It is so important, the research, but I know there has been some challenges in procuring research funds. Right. What are some of the biggest challenges? Well, I, yeah, I think that's it. We have to make sure that all the global funders from the United States to uh, Europe and, and beyond understand that bench to bedside science requires that fundamental infusion of funding to allow the best and brightest trainees to enter into the pipeline of endocrine science and medicine and to sustain the kind of great breakthrough science that becomes tomorrow's medicine. Uh, and so that all really relies on, on biomedical funding. A year as president, I'm sure you're proud of many achievements. I'm going to give you a chance to pat yourself on the back. Oh now well, thank and, you. you and know. talk about some of those. Yeah, I'm I'm really proud of the society for um, really having a facelift. So we changed our entire look of the entire endocrine society with a new brand and a new tagline, hormone science to health is the way we now think about ourselves. And that really embodies in those four simple words, everything that we're trying to do from bench to bedside. We have a new logo that really embraces the tripartite nature of our society bench scientists, clinical researchers, and clinicians in practice that are all working together around the globe to make the next generation of discoveries. So that facelift for our society is something that I think will move on with us over the second century, which we're now entering for the Endocrine Society. And how do you think that will help inspire the people that are here? I think it's a clean, modern look. It's something that we can all embrace. We can see ourselves in that logo. And I really think hormone science to health it's a tagline that easily helps us tell our story to the public who really need to know that endocrinologists are on the front line of the major health concerns of our day and so they can see us as those difference makers for them uh, in their lives and their health. Overseeing everything, what do you hope to get out of this meeting? <laughs> well, I, I'm excited to see all our plenary speakers. We have some Nobel laureates that will be on our platform. We're going to have uh, clinical practice guidelines that are really going to change the way clinicians practice medicine. We're going to have presented on our podiums many of the basic science researchers that are going to be the innovative new drugs of tomorrow. So I can't wait for everyone to arrive here in Chicago to be here at McCormick Center and to participate in the biggest and most diverse endocrine society meeting that the world has ever seen. And that's certainly going to help everyone involved. Dr. Teresa Woodruff, thank you so much thank for everything you so you've much. done and thanks for being here. Thank you, Dina.